it, Becky here. Uh, today is day five of Congenital Heart Defect Awareness Week. And today I'm doing another photo video challenge. Today is February 11th, and the word or phrase is new life. Here is the photo I have chosen to use for new life, and it's also on my Facebook and Instagram. The phrase new life means to me, um, my interpretation of it um, is what life turned into um, after I lost Gracie. Um, life just kind of turned upside down and I felt like I was lost and confused and I didn't know what to do. I had no job. I had resigned from my job um, previously um, before Gracie passed away. And so I was basically starting life over. Um, I had spent um, every day in the hospital for 82 days straight, you know, um, just coming home in between days um, just to sleep at night. Um, I would have loved to stay at the hospital with her every night. I wish I could have, but I was just physically so sick um, because I wasn't able to sleep there um, with the beeping and machines and everything. The nurses coming in and out, doctors coming in and out all night. and um, I really wish I could have, and if I had gone back um, and known that she would have passed away, um, I probably would have stayed every single night and just gone without sleep and I would have been fine. Um, but I did go home every every night and then leave early in the morning and spend the day um, with Gracie, uh, singing to her, cuddling her, rocking her, telling her stories and um, reading her books and everything. I spent the day there and um, some days I didn't really eat and some days my family came and they brought food or uh, we went down to the Ronald McDonald house and um, had a meal there. Um, my life was the hospital um, for almost three months straight and um, that's that was my routine um, for a long time and I'd gotten used to it and when Gracie passed away after I had you know, resigned from my corporate job. I went back to work a week later. I was training for a new job. So I started training a week after she passed away, which was crazy, nuts, stupid, <laughs> um, because I was not ready. So I took uh, another few weeks off and I, <laughs> I left that job and, um, and I found another job um, in a bakery as a cake decorator and and I decorated all of their wedding cakes for you know a few months and um, I still was not ready I would go into work every day and I would have to excuse myself many times throughout the day and go hide in the bathroom because I was emotionally unstable. I was depressed and sad and um, I was not even ready to be around people. I was angry at people all the time. I didn't want to be around them and I had in the back of my mind, you know, my idea of starting a nonprofit organization or starting my own cake business or, um, you know, it was all in the back of my mind and I thought, oh, those things are never going to happen because I don't have the willpower to make it happen right now. I don't have the strength. I don't have the time. I just, I can't do it. I need to do a job. You know, I need to have a job and just do it. Just do it. And I wasn't ready. And you know, my husband and I went on a retreat um, called Face Lodge. Um, and it was probably the best thing that we had ever done because we met um, three other couples um, uh, that had lost babies um, 
and we became such good friends with them and going to Faith Lodge and um, having all these men have their guy time together that have all lost their babies, you know. Um, and then us women would have, you know, our time together. We would work on projects for, um, you know, to make memories um, of our little ones. And we had time together to talk about our grief and everything. And it was amazing. And to, still to this day, um, we are all best friends. You know? But that was an amazing experience. And it kind of turned everything around for my husband and I and um, you know I talked to them all about you know my idea of starting this um, cake business and or organization and, and um, I even baked cupcakes when we were there at the retreat. <laughs> I decided to spend some time in the kitchen and just whip up a bunch of cupcakes for all of them and because again like I said in a previous video the kitchen was my happy place um, was my healing place and um, so I did that and you know at Face Lodge I I kept on feeling like gosh I really need to pursue this I really need to pray about this and just think about this and um, and after that I decided I'm going to do this I'm going to um, I'm going to make my dream happen and I'm going to start a legacy for Gracie and that's gonna be my life that's what I'm going to concentrate on and put all my focus into and energy into I made hundreds of cupcakes um, for one organization called Hope and Grace um, and I brought those cupcakes to that uh, fundraising event and I sold them and we brought in a whole bunch of money um, and gave it straight to that organization. and um, After that fundraiser I just I knew that this was what I needed to do because I was making a difference I was giving back to the heart community I was doing I was doing what I felt I needed to do I was giving back and I was telling Gracie's story and um, it was an amazing feeling and it made me happy it gave me joy and and so I decided I was going to get my 501c3 nonprofit status, and so I filed for that, and um, so everything started coming together. And then all of these um, families were contacting me, "Can you make a cake for you know my CHD warrior? We're having a celebration when they're coming home from the hospital, and we'd love a cake for it." And and so all these cake orders came in, and I was so excited, and I was busy, and. I just, I feel, I feel good when I'm in the kitchen baking cakes and um, meeting all these heart families and because um, they all have amazing stories and I love talking with them. And this new life as a heart mom, because I am still a heart mom, um, I will always be, um, I get to I get to continue talking about the heart stuff um, because I'm surrounded by these families all the time um, on social media and I get to meet them because I deliver all the cakes and and I get to hear their stories um, through emails and when I, I get to meet these kids and it's so great because these kids are so special they're so special I will always want to be surrounded by these families people ask me Becky how how do you do this after you know losing a heart baby and then being surrounded by all these heart families and you know how, how do you do it emotionally how are you you know have a smile on your face and 
Well, I just, I just say, you know what? There's a comfort in talking about CHDs because it was my life for almost three whole months. And I miss it because I, if I'm not talking about hearts um, and CHDs, I'm not thinking of Gracie. And I love thinking about her and talking about her and it's, it's a part of me. She's still inside me. She's in my heart. So life just turned upside down and I am still grieving every day. Every morning I wake up. I don't want to get out of bed because I don't get to see my Gracie. I don't get to touch her. I don't get to feel her. I don't get to talk to her. I... <sighs> it's so hard missing her every day. And I am someone who hides all my emotions. I do not wear them on my sleeve. Um, I wish I was a person that was because maybe more people would understand and more people would ask me about it. Um, but I'm just, I'm so... I'm a very conservative person and I, I'm very professional and very just... I have to have a smile on my face because I hide. I hide. Um, behind it and that's why doing some of these videos is um, helping me um, because I'm not necessarily talking straight to your face but I'm still talking to you and I'm still telling you my story and how I'm feeling and I'm saying Gracia's name I love saying her name and if you are not a grieving parent um, and you know somebody that is, uh, don't be afraid to mention their child's name. Don't be afraid to ask them how they're doing. Ask them, ask them what their favorite memory of their child is. Just have a conversation about it. It will make their day. Trust me. <laughs> so my new life is um, forever changing. I'm always going through a new season, um, but I'm always grieving. I'm always sad every day. Um, and I don't think that'll ever change. Um, Gracie's been gone for just over two years. Um, and really, really does never get easier. Never. And I hate it when people say, oh, it'll get easier. It doesn't. So that is my interpretation of new life. Um, and I will see you guys uh, tomorrow for another one. Um, have a wonderful day and thank you for watching. Bye.